Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where last episode we did some cleanup and also remarkably survived smallpox. That was actually kind of shocking considering our leprosy, but you know, whatever. I'm wondering what the actual situation is on these Ashari populace. Are they going to pop without having any other factions? Well, let's kick forward and find out. I don't want to get involved in any major wars until we know for sure. So what do we got here? That's the refresh? Okay, so those Ashari... Oh, there's the refresh. Okay, <laughs> that's much better. So these Ashari populists are not going to be a thing. Neither are the Catholic populists for now. Okay, so this ransom is not acceptable. This one is not either. This one is acceptable. This one is not acceptable. This one is. And you're, you're not acceptable, but you are. Okay. Let's spend our gold. I, I know I keep saying I'm going to do this off camera, but uh, I do want to get some upgrades on our personal domain here. And we're getting close to getting these maxed out, but I just want to get those going. There we go. Now we can do some cleanup on these areas in particular. I'm also interested in attacking this guy, but the de jure lands are not really what we're interested in going after. We would really prefer to have a claimant here. And this guy is a theoretical possibility. I'm going to start swaying him, and we're going to come back to him. Perfect. I think that we should go after Wallachia and Lavedia here, clean up these two, and then maybe come in over this way, is the idea. We can also come down this direction. Is Sistan and Sistan separate? No, they are the same thing. Do we have de jure down here? Yes, we do. Okay. So de jure down here is fine. Punjab is, of course, going to need to be attacked. This is an empire tier realm. Okay. I kind of want to go after kingdom titles. Rajputana is an interesting one, potentially. But Punjab is an empire tier realm and is i think the no this is not the only empire tier realm this is an empire tier realm as well okay that's fine regardless we'll come back to this in a little while for now i want to get some of these cleanups done so let's get wallachia under control here and also lavedia so we'll declare war here perfect i'm not going to declare any further wars up this way just yet but let's drop a rally point here Raising men-at-arms, and a few levy troops. We're probably not going to need all that many. It should be fine. We still have a faction here? No, these factions are all fake, right? Yeah, they're all fake. So that's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. This is way more forces than we need. Let's get rid of that. Fantastic. So that looks good. We do see that there are some forces up over here. I'm just waiting on the men-at-arms at this point. And let's go and take their capital, I think. Yeah, we should go take their capital. Also, keep in mind, we're 42. We have leprosy. We're in good health, in theory. Which is mildly remarkable. But uh, we could die at any moment. So that is definitely to be considered. But let's go get Wallachia cleaned up. At this point, once we have L Wallachia and Lavadia under our control, I think under basically any definition, we have all of Europe at that point. So that seems fantastic. And we'll start pushing into Asia. So that is fine. So they're grouping up down over here. Whatever. Let's go see if they are in their capital. They probably are. They're a child? Yeah. So that should be fine. Let's see if we get a capture here. We did not. Okay. It's unfortunate. We got a couple of prisoners, but nothing that is actually relevant. We did reduce our stress level, so that's, you know, nice. And we got some mild epidemic prevention. I do want to check to see, is our court physician on control plagues? No. Let's do that. I wish it remembered that setting between court physicians. Whenever you change court physicians, it goes back to the default setting, which is mildly unfortunate. But let's make our way through here. We're at 30% war score. I'm thinking we should probably send a battle force down, actually. So let's leave behind our bombards and maybe around, I don't know, 30k is enough. 
and we'll head on down over here. Cool. I'd like to have a siege leader here if we've got one. And yeah, we do. This guy. Perfect. Okay. So let's head out over... Actually, let's go here. Excellent. They have to run away, right? Why aren't they running? They really should be running right now. Well, this war is over. Okay, so we're going to get that finished just from that battle. Let's head on up over this way. Fantastic. They really should have run away from us. I have no idea why they didn't. Let's enforce these demands, and you are going to make your way out over here. When will you arrive there? Two months? That's not too bad. So we are over our vassal limit, which is not surprising, since Wallachia is, of course, under our control. What else do we want to grant out? I believe we cleaned up all of the territory down here. Ah, right. This emirate we need to get under our control. I keep forgetting about that. We'll come back to it. Okay, so those are all kingdoms there. That seems fine. We could combine Romania and Sicily if either of them were imprisoned, but they're not. Let's just check to see what we've got here. Sort by rank. Epirus, huh? Okay, we could definitely revoke his title. Cool. And then we could give that over to Serbia or to Hellas. I think Hellas is slightly better here. So we'll grant Epirus and everything underneath it directly over here. Although we can't grant it out yet, we have to wait for these shrines to get auto-granted. This is a change I don't care for. But we have to wait. There we go. So that's fine. And now we're going to grant this over to Hellas. I don't want to revoke title. I want to grant title. Perfect. There you go, buddy. Fantastic. Now, there's still this duchy underneath us. He did not go with, which is interesting. We can also reinstate the most expert of the Melspears. I disagree, but okay. <laughs> I don't think we can actually replace that. And we can't restore accolades for a while yet, so that's understood. I want to move this guy directly over here. I do not want to hold this duchy underneath us, so that'll be fine. We're no longer over our vassal limit until we get this war completed, at which point, of course, we will be over our vassal limit. But that's fine. We'll grant it out soon enough. Okay, I think we should probably... I don't know. Heading here is mildly risky, but I think we have sufficient forces, and we're going to be up here very, very shortly. So that seems fine. I want to head directly to the siege location with our army. Yeah, this is absolutely okay. Timing is working out nicely here. So no problem. That's a stack wipe. And a stack wipe. And we're going to walk right up over here. We got their capital. We're at 99% war score. Oof. That's mildly awkward. How long is this siege going to be? Okay, only 20 days. That might be done before we even arrive at this parity. Cool. So that'll end the war. That will be perfect. And then we'll have to grant this guy out, of course. But that's fine. We'll enforce those demands. Actually, this is Tujur, so he should have automatically moved into Zaporizhia. And indeed he did. So that looks solid. No problem there. And of course, then we want to come up over this way and take over Kargadin and Glaz. And we can do both of these extremely quickly with just Dejure claims. So that'll be fine. We'll get these cleaned up. Perfect. And then probably we're going to go for this as well as all of this in the next war. But this will go very quickly up here. These are just county tier realms and should not be any sort of problem. I'm honestly just going to raise our men-at-arms. And we'll walk up over here as soon as we have gotten enough men-at-arms for this. Perfect. So that war is over, and then this war after that. But that will require an additional... We can reclaim the Constantinople? The Constantinople. That's a weird thing to say. So this would become our realm capital, and uh, I don't want to restore the true seat of the empire. We don't want to change our capital. This is fine as it is. Perfect. Oh, this guy just reduced his 
reduced his uh, taxes to us, I think. It doesn't matter. I want to check through these titles right now. We can create the Empire of Italia, which we should do. Any other Empire to your titles? Yes, actually. Okay, that doesn't actually help us all that much in terms of claims, but it's fine. Absolutely fine to get those built. So how long until our men-at-arms arrive here? About 45 days. Keep in mind, we've only got a little over 30 years left in this game, so we're probably going to have one more succession, and that's probably going to be our final character. Unless they die very early, which is always a possibility. But we're getting close to wrapping this one up. Which is good, because we're just in map painting mode at this point, right? But that's kind of the way the last hundred years of Crusader Kings works. You just get to such a ridiculous level that nobody can do anything about it. And the only thing that is threatening to you is internal factions. And I think that is mostly a result of just how many years Crusader Kings covers. Like, it's... It's a lot more time in Crusader Kings that you have than in, say, something like Europa or especially Victoria or Hearts of Iron. Like, it's just a lot more time. So we'll end that war. That is fine. And that, of course, goes directly over into Volga, Bulgaria, which is absolutely wonderful. We finished up a couple of construction buildings, and I would like to get the rest of these going. So we'll upgrade our blacksmiths here. And in Banifing, we'll get date groves. We're still building in Felona, so that's going to be a little while yet. But that's absolutely fine. People are escaping from our prison, and that's very rude of them. Okay, let's go take over Cardigan up here. Yeah, I know it's Cardigan, not Cardigan, but I thought it was funny. So we're just going to attack up over here. This war is, of course, over. We don't need to do anything else at this point. Other than just actually arrive. Wonderful. Our men-at-arms are so optimized and upgraded at this point, and to be honest, they could have been optimized even further than they are right now. But they really don't need to be. I honestly expected the siege there to end that war. Wild. I mean, we're going to fight these guys here. We're capped on battle war score, so this isn't going to do anything. But we'll stack wipe that. Unless we capture the leader, I suppose. And we're going to head on into Koka, and let's wrap up this war this way. I mean, this siege is going to be extraordinarily quick once we arrive here. So that is fine. There we go. Let's enforce those demands and disband our troops. So there's that area cleaned up. Beautiful. I much prefer it looking like this than all that border gore. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, we've managed to get the border gore cleaned up. Next up, I want to attack down over this way. Who is this? This is one of our vassals. Okay, that's interesting. But we're going to attack right down over here. We should have de jure here. We do indeed. And we should have de jure up over on all three of these as well. So let's get those done. Yeah, that's that entire territory. Perfect. And we'll attack Sistan as well, if I can select them. That will generally be helpful. Perfect. So we've got four wars on going here. We're going to raise up our forces here. We'll raise men-at-arms, and I'll raise a few levy troops for this. We're also apparently lacking a marshal. This guy will do. Cool. So we've got about 10,000 troops here. That's probably enough. And now we're just waiting on those men-at-arms. Now, we have managed to sway this guy. And we're going to continue to leave that sway. We're going to attack up over here very shortly. That's after this war. So that's fine. We're also going to want to start breaking into Punjab as soon as we find an opportunity. And there are definitely some opportunities to look at there. But for the moment, we've got a couple wars ahead of us here, and I'd like to get those out of the way. Specifically, we're looking at five wars. We've got the four here, plus an additional war of taking all of this territory. And then whatever we feel like doing up over here, right? But we're going to be pretty cut off by Punjab here. We could attack down this way, though, and we'll require a claimant for that. We can look into this later on. There's probably someone that we can bring in 
Maybe. There might be. Okay, men at arms. There they are. Perfect. Let's head in and just eliminate this emirate. One last border gore cleanup here internally before we start pushing our actual borders. Excellent. So that's the cleanup pretty much completed. And we'll enforce these demands. And now we're going to embark here. We'll arrive here in two months. Okay, so they're going to be done with this siege by then, but it really doesn't matter. That should be okay. We just need to wrap these up, of course, as quickly as we can. So that's all fine. We did go up in a stress level. Stress level one is not a problem for us. So I'm not concerned about that. Yeah, they're going to try to siege here. This is going to go very poorly indeed for them. And they're going to get stack wiped. And then we're going to come here, siege this back. That'll take moments. And then we'll hit their capital. Actually, we captured him from the war. So never mind. We don't need to do that. We can just press that war goal. Next, we can come up over here and hit this capital. However, this duchy is under us right now. Kingdom of Macron. Okay. I'm thinking about combining it together over here. In which case, we should transfer this vassal right now. So we'll do that for the moment. Now, this guy is going to be under us de jure, isn't he? Yeah, this is a de jure claim. So he's going to retain control of this, and that's going to be an issue for us. Wait. That's the Emirate of Macron. He doesn't have the kingdom. We're fine then. We don't have any sort of an issue there. We can just give the kingdom over to the Senol kingdom. That will be excellent. So they're sieging this. Whatever. They can do that if they like. We're going to head up over here. And I want to get Sistan knocked out. We'll see if we get Macron taken out from taking their capital. It'll be reliant, I think, on captures and whether they run into us here. Okay, we captured their leader. Perfect. So we'll enforce those demands, and we're just going to head directly over to here. Okay. At this point, I want to create the kingdom title here. I want to give that over to this lady. There we go. And this is a de jure claim up here, so this should get automatically transferred to her at the end of this war. So that'll be wonderful. Sure, we'll pay 900 gold. That seems fine. And let's attack Rudbar. Taking us a while to move around these desert mountains, but that's reasonably expected. And the question is, will we capture this guy? Is he located in his capital here? No, he's leading his army. So we might capture his heir, in theory. But we should probably just station besiegers here. And have these guys head up to fight just in case. We did capture his son and heir, so that's something. And let's just make our way through this. This is probably not going to end the war. Yeah. So we would need to head out over this way. But we're going to fight this battle, and that should end the war. Excellent. Yeah, this will definitely end the war. So that looks good. War is, of course, over. We'll enforce those demands, disband these troops. That did indeed all head over de jure. That looks good. And from here, we definitely want to attack over this way. So we're swaying this guy, and he is... He's a vassal in the Connet of Caspian Steppe. Wait, this guy's landed now? He got landed. That's not great. I don't think he was landed previously. So that's not going to be an option. We can't invite someone in who's landed. So yeah, we don't have an option here. These are all female claimants. We cannot press their claims. So much for that plan. Okay, let's check in on options here. Hmm. How many reasons? 145. That's a lot of reasons. 150. 
yeah, not a lot going on there. So we've got Punjab over this way, and I would absolutely like to see what we have here. So that's only a single Sakana. I don't really care about that. None of these are great claims. We have a little bit of de jure, and then we have duchy titles. So what we would really like to do is go after some of these kingdom titles, right? Rajputana would be a decent one to go after. The Kingdom of Sindh would be quite small. But there are a lot of claimants here, and we can start carving into this. We'll have to wait out truces, but we can start carving into this empire title. The empire is much larger than it should be, Dijer. So that's noted. Can we usurp out over here? No, they consider our faith to be hostile or worse. We consider them to be evil. They consider us to be hostile. Okay, so that is understood. We would want to convert this guy from his Nacho's religion. That is definitely what this is. But uh, we would demand his conversion, but let's send him a gift first. Boost up that opinion. Now he's only at 56%. Does he convert? He refused. Well, we'll press his claim anyway, but I'm not happy about it. So, he actually has a claim on a lot of these kingdoms. But it's not the Empire. He does not have a claim on the Empire. It's expensive. And I would really prefer if he had converted. But this is a really good claim. One, two, three, four, five kingdoms. I wonder what the succession law on those kingdoms is going to be. Primogeniture. Okay. I mean, we're obviously declaring this war. 100% this is happening. But we're going to drop a rally point here. I didn't realize he had claims on five kingdoms. I I, I only thought he had claims on Sindh, but that's wonderful. So we're going to create another faction, or rather raise up more forces here. They've got access to 90,000 troops, which is pretty decent. And now they bring in a holy order and their ally, 140,000. I mean, it's not scary, but it's probably the second most powerful in the world. Forced vassalization. Ooh. Ooh, indeed. You can vassalize any ruler that does not have more than three counties in their realm. It's lim that limit is increased by plus two for each of the following innovations. Okay. So it's going to be for smaller rulers. That would not be a thing here, obviously. Let's just continue to raise forces for a little while. We know that they've got like 150, so we'll raise similar numbers. We're at about 95, 100, 120, 130, 140, and 160. Sure, that'll be okay. We're gonna, going to move these forces in. Now, I'm not sure where their armies are yet. We see a small force down this way. Okay. Okay. We want to move pretty quickly on this war, obviously. Our men-at-arms are going to arrive now, and that, of course, means that we're going to have a substantial speed increase on this sieging. Wonderful. And let's just continue to siege through here. Now, we're going to have a supply issue. We want to move quickly. This was only worth 3% war score, but that's only a third of this county. So let's grab this. We're up to 7% war score. Where is their army at? They went this way, so perhaps they're coming at us like this? I'm not entirely sure where they are here, but we'll be on the offensive here. We don't know where their force is. Once we do, we can potentially make some plans. Ah. Okay, they're up to the north. Sure. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to split our force. We're going to arrive here, and we'll split our force once we get here. Okay, I'm going to split off these bombards and probably around 40,000 troops. I want this force to be large enough that it can't easily be stack wiped if we leave it alone, but not so large that it pulls a lot of forces away from here, right? And then I want to head north with our primary fighting force. 
Okay. So we're going to continue to siege down this direction, and we're going to go pick a fight up over here. I want to siege to the south for the moment. Sieging away from where they're located. We can come up over this way, perhaps, and try to cut off their retreat path. But we'll see what this ends up looking like. I'm willing to bet they're, they're going to try to run at our siege force. Most likely. We can try to head up this way. No, I don't think that's... Mm. They're going to outrun us this direction. We got to go this way. Okay. That's fine for now. We'll continue to siege here. I just want to get an actual battle going on here. So that would be ideal. They could come down this direction and try to avoid us that way, but they would have to go around like this at this point in order to do it because I don't think that they get through here in time. Okay, we finished up this siege. Let's go here for the moment. We're at 45% war score. They have exited the fog of war. Okay. So we see some of their forces here. We may or may not catch them. We are going to take some attrition here. 6,000 casualties. That is probably acceptable. They are running away from us right now. though. So the question is, do we give up on this chase? We probably don't want to chase them in this way too far. Do we think we'll actually catch them there? I don't know. I'm not going to take more than this one attrition tick. Yeah, we are chasing them awkwardly right now. I would really prefer not to do this. Let's head down this way. We are going to take another attrition tick, but I don't want to pursue them up that way. So for the time being, this is fine. Let's go up to here. And we do have an empty council position. We need a new chancellor. That will be this fine gentleman right here. They're running up into this area. I don't care about that. They can do that. We're at 60% war score right now. I wish that we had caught them and been able to actually fight them. But alas, we did not. And we're going to have to make our way down this direction. We're running low on supplies. That was expected in this region. This is a tough region to be moving around in. We could go here. We would take one attrition point. I think we're just going to stay here for the time being. Finish up this siege. Then come up here like so. Finish this siege and then go. That's the idea. We're at 71 more score right now. So we're making solid progress there. And they're just sitting here taunting us at this moment. Okay. Uh, we're going to arrive here when? 15 days? 17 days. Okay. Now we can go. So that looks good. We're going to wrap up this siege. And as soon as we're done with that, we're going to come down over here. A scheme at court? Who could have ever predicted this? Okay. So we are now in a position... What? Why do they want to give battle here? We have taken a lot of attrition. But I don't think that's relevant. We are defending in hills here. They should not want to do this. They really shouldn't want to do this. They do want to do it, and they really shouldn't. Okay, we're going to head down over this way. It would have been better if we had gotten this a little earlier, but this will do. We'll win from the battle or the siege. Either of them are fine. Fantastic. Okay. So at this point, enforce demands, and there we go. We just got a huge gain down over here. And we might be able to usurp this. Yes, we can. Fantastic. That's amazing. So we just completely broke up that empire. One of two remaining empires. 
I love it. It is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll deal with this Vassal Limit issue, and we'll start cleaning up some of this Border Gore that we've created. That definitely needs to happen. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Tommy Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.